So this is my second wallet review from this company, Sin City Leather out of Las Vegas. This is called the Rat Pack version one. Let's check it out. This is the box. The Rat Pack version one came in. You can see the gold lettering on the front of the box. Nothing else inside, just some cotton. But I'll put that off to the side over here and I'll give you guys a nice close up of the Rat Pack version one from Sin City Leather. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. All right, the Rat Pack version one is a vertical style minimalist wallet with two card pockets and a dedicated cash compartment. The two card pockets can hold up to 10 cards based on the thickness of your cards. And the cash compartment can hold up to 10 bills folded in half. The leather you see here is a brown, full grain, vegetable tan, waxy, battle Carlo leather. And everything is hand stitched with Ritz of Tiger thread. But it's also available in different color combinations as well. And Sin City Leather is based right here in the USA, Las Vegas, to be exact. Now let's give it a quick measure. So the width is going to be about 2.99 inches. And in millimeters, that's going to be 75.9 millimeters. And then here we have 4.06 inches. And in millimeters, that's 103.2 millimeters. All right, now let's weigh it real quick. Comes in at... 1.7 ounces and in grams, that's exactly 50 grams. And keep in mind, I have the version without the grommet in the upper corner. So as I mentioned, the Rat Pack version one is the second wallet that I'm reviewing from Sin City Leather. If you guys didn't see it already, I reviewed the Nomad right here. This was my very first pickup from Sin City Leather. And I wanted to mention this because the Rat Pack version one basically has the same exact card and cash capacity as the Nomad here. They both have two card pockets and a dedicated cash compartment that can hold up to 10 cards and 10 bills. Except the Nomad is geared more towards cash carriers, but the Rat Pack version one here is geared more towards card carriers such as myself. And I'll demonstrate that once I get to the card and cash test a little bit later on. But first, let's talk about the quality here. The leather here is a waxy Battle Carlo, and you guys already know this is a top-notch leather. Let me give you guys a nice close-up of the grain here. Look at that. This is an absolutely beautiful leather. I love it. Full grain, vegetable tan, and this is a dark brown color. As I mentioned, it's available in a few different colors. But just like when I reviewed the Nomad wallet, all of the cuts here are fantastic. Everything is nice and clean. And you can see all these cuts are taken care of. You can see they're burnished and polished. It looks very nice. And even the inside is finished. Everything is great here. Top-notch craftsmanship right here on the Rat Pack version one, which means based on the quality of both of these wallets right here, Sin City Leather is no fluke. I know I only own two wallets from these guys, but I mean, come on. Both of these wallets, the quality is outstanding. And I'll give you a close-up of that hand saddle stitching. Actually, let me open this up so I can show you all the stitching here. You can see it just curves right around, right up the side there. And then the back, Everything looks excellent. And the same is on the Nomad. The snap here feels very high quality. I don't think they cheaped out on the quality of the snap. It feels very nice. So in the quality category, it gets a big thumbs up for me. And now it's time for the smell test. And should I even have to do the smell test on Battle Lassie Carlo? You guys already know I'm going to anyways, just because I'm weird and I like the smell of this. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. It smells fantastic. It just reminds me of my old baseball glove from when I was a kid. It just brings back those old memories. I absolutely love it. Now, let's go to the styling of the Rat Pack version one. It's a vertical style minimalist wallet with the flap that wraps around the side and it buttons up with a snap. And it has three total pockets, two card pockets and a dedicated cash compartment. So this card pocket in the front for your most used credit card, can hold up to three credit cards. And the bulk of your credit cards goes right here dead center that can hold up to seven cards. And this flap holds your cash compartment closed that can hold up to 10 bills folded in half. And I'll give you a close up of that snap right there. It is an antique brass snap. And then while we're there, you can take a look at the branding. You can see the Sin City Leather logo that circles that snap. And the only other branding on this wallet is on the very back where it says Sin City Leather. Now this is great. This is one of my complaints with the Nomad because I said, I wish the Sin City Leather logo right here was on the back instead of having two 
branding stamps on the front. So I really like this. I like to see that Sin City Leather logo on the back and then the circled logo right around the snap there. I think it's great. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can get this with or without a grommet. If I did have it, it would be up here in the upper corner and it would look something similar to the Nomad's grommet right there. All right, now it's time for the cash and card test. I already went ahead and fully loaded the Rat Pack version one with 10 cards and 10 bills. Now I've been carrying this wallet with a total of seven cards and about three bills. So I'm stretching it out just a little bit more than when I was carrying it. But you can see it snapped up. It can handle 10 cards and 10 bills. When I was carrying this, I was carrying my most used credit card right here in the front, but only one. I don't really like stacking my quick access card pocket with multiple cards. I just put my most used credit card there and that's it. So I'll take out these other two and just put in that. This is the way I was carrying it. And dead center right here, you can see I have seven cards. You can easily take those cards out and do the fan method. So the Rat Pack version one, extremely functional. And I'm just going to take out one card because this is exactly how I was carrying it six in the middle pocket and then one in the front. And now the 10 bills folded in half right here, not a problem at all. Um, if you guys do have to carry 10 cards, I would say that would be the maximum for cards and cash. But 10 bills is usually plenty of cash, especially if they're 20s, 50s, or 100s. And you can see there's plenty of room back here in this dedicated cash compartment to hold those 10 bills folded in half. But this is where I say the Rat Pack version one is geared more towards card carriers than it is cash carriers because there is no flap and snap getting in your way if you wanna access your cards here. And you can see that right here. Easily grab my most used credit card out of the middle. There's a really aggressive cut right there so I can just grab that card, put it back in, no problem at all. And then any of these cards in the middle, not a problem at all. So that snap, the flap, doesn't really matter, but it does matter if you're trying to access your cash. And that's exactly opposite of what the Nomad was because if I wanted to grab my cards, I have to unsnap it, but if I wanted my cash, I just open it up. So whether you're a cash carrier or a card carrier, it's gonna make it very, very simple to choose either one of these wallets. And as much as I loved the Nomad wallet right here, for me personally, I've been carrying the Rat Pack version one more just because of the ease of getting to these cards. I rarely use my cash. I only carry it for emergencies. So I barely open up this snap at all on the Rat Pack version one. So hopefully that helps you guys decide which way to go if you're looking at either one of these wallets. So as I said, overall, I think if I had to choose, I would choose the Rat Pack version one just because it's geared more towards someone like me. Plus the quality is fantastic. I love the looks of the Rat Pack version one here. It's stylish, it's rugged looking, it's minimal, and it's a vertical style wallet and very functional. The craftsmanship is great, the quality is great, I love it. And it's made right here in the USA. Jose, once again, you absolutely killed it with the Rat Pack version one here. And I'm aware that they have a version two available. So I believe that's going to be my next review from Sin City Leather. The Rat Pack version one is about 75 bucks, in my opinion, for a hand-stitched, high-quality leather wallet made right here in the USA. It's worth it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Rat Pack version one? from Sin City Leather. Now, if you guys wanna check this out for yourself, I will put links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!